Most of the people that I represent um, are very self-critical, very self-conscious. Uh, they actually think that they must be some kind of an appalling person that they've been arrested for drink driving. Um, and they're very eager to tell you that that's not who they are, um, that they are a person of good standing, that they perhaps made a mistake, but it shouldn't be something that would um, mark them for life as far as they're concerned. Most people are people who've never been in trouble before and who are people of good standing. In, in the common law, it, you're not required to provide evidence against yourself. You don't have to give documentary evidence against yourself. And the state had the job to prosecute you and to prove the case against you beyond a reasonable doubt without you having to help them. Drink driving is different. You have to provide a specimen, evidence, blood, urine, breath, which could potentially could help end up prosecuting you or convicting you. So if the state is, can ask you, demand of you to provide evidence against yourself, the law requires the state to uphold their requirements to a very high standard too, to counterbalance that. And if they don't, the case can sometimes collapse. Court is not like TV. Uh, TV is Judge Judy, that's not court. Uh, TV documentary or dramas on TV are, are dramatized uh, because the reality isn't quite so exciting and if, if they actually filmed what really goes on in court it would be pretty you know drab and pretty low-key so TV is a totally uh, false view but unfortunately it's the view that a lot of people have the view of court is based on what they've seen on TV over the years but it's nothing like that it's, it's far more decorous and there's a lot more I suppose dignity in that those proceedings than television ever was Well, I often get people uh, ringing me from around the country about these cases. Um, and usually they're nearly always the same kinds of people. Good people, decent people, actually. Uh, people who've never been in trouble before, uh, who because of maybe certain family events, certain emotional events, maybe took a drink, then drove. Uh, a lot of it's emotionally driven. Uh, they become despair, or they despair about what's happened to their lives, and they take a drink and then they drive. Uh, almost none have been involved in accidents or anything like that, but uh, they ring me up and I try and speak to those people and try and help them as best I can.